He wooed me with his baritone and velvety voice. He mesmerized me with his cool gait and air of confidence. He'd made me shake with laughter, with his remarkable wit and sense of humor. But most of all, he won me over with his intellect and his dream to live a life of excellence, success, and fulfillment. With his words, he painted for me a future so exciting and glorious that I yielded to him and vowed to him till death do us part. When we are called friends, Komla has so many friends. And it's therefore an honor that we should even be allowed here and to be allowed to speak. I'd like to thank the BBC for assisting with the event today, as well as to our president for the respect that he showed to Komla in visiting his family and also welcoming them in Accra. We all felt Komla was a friend. Whether we knew him well, walked past him on a London street, or simply saw him on a television screen, he was a friend to millions. The BBC is hugely proud of Komla's groundbreaking achievements in presenting a different Africa to the world. And we urge you, beloved, to, ad to admonish the idlers, encourage the faint-hearted, help the weak, be patient with all of them. See that none of you repays evil for evil, but always seek to do good to one another and to all. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, for God is love. God's love was revealed amongst us in this way. God sent his only son into the world so that we might live through him. We give you thanks for our brother Kumla Dumo for the grace and mercy he received from you, for all that was good in his life, for the memories we treasure today, especially his work as a broadcaster, a proclaimer of your message of truth and joy. Amen.